Welcome back. It is March 20th. We're here at Thomas Worthington High School. We're going to take a look at the building progress. I'm here with Matt McManus from Rusilli. Probably the most notable changes that you see outside right now are the brick and the decorative stone going up. Uh, on the west end of the building, you can see there are all the way to the second floor on um, that western two-story portion and they're gonna continue down the line. What you can't see is they've also started doing brick on the back side or the north side of the building. That's what you'll probably notice most on the outside as well as steel trusses and uh, roofing material going up, especially on that third story portion of the building. One of the things you'll notice around the outside of the building, uh, they're building out fireproof window blocking. Uh, they do that before they put the masonry in and then once they get to the top, they bring down uh, wrapping to make sure everything's watertight and the final step is inserting the window and installing the window. That won't be for a little while, but that's what you see happening up here. That's what that those pink boards are around the window openings or they're prepping for the window and for uh, making sure that that window is watertight. Here we're on the uh, first floor weight room. This is a pretty exciting part of the project. What you'll notice is uh, you have one guy spraying block fill, another guy rolling it. This process is exciting because it means the building is warm enough and dry enough that it's actually able to take block fill and paint. So this is a huge milestone. And when you start seeing them paint inside, you know that everything else in the walls is much closer to ready to go. This is the new card center. The guys are adjusting the temporary windows. Now that we have window blocking in on the outside, they're able to slide the temporary windows into that uh, opening which allows for the painting and wrapping uh, along the edge where the window is gonna be installed. In the ceiling, all of our ductwork is, is wrapped with insulation. That's a good sign. That tells you they're prepping to seal up the ceiling. And on the ground, you see drywall. And whenever I see drywall, that tells me that we're really comfortable with our heat and humidity situation. We're gonna walk back really quick and take a look at the small group rooms in the, in the card center. In the second half of the card center, it is a small group room space. So think of your academic assistants. So all their individual classrooms are here. Um, what you see around us is all the steel framing. We have all the rough and electrical ready to go. And uh, all that drywall you saw out there is, is getting ready to be installed partially in this space. Paint, block fill, installed drywall. Um, you know we're getting close when we're ready to think about that. I mean, you know what comes next ends up being ceilings and floors. So we're pretty excited about that. This is uh, our first area that we're finishing out on the second floor of cards. This is basically the most advanced area. This area is gonna be ready for drywall in the next couple of days here. Like you said, black fill will be coming up. Uh, they're gonna come up from weight room and uh, we're gonna progress from this area, move forward and start working east. These are second story classrooms. Uh, just, just down from the, just east of the card center. So one of the ways that we dry out the building, other than if there's rain aggressively cleaning up any standing water, is a dehumidification system like this one. So this is actively dehumidifying the air in here. And then there's also uh, exterior heat that's being pumped in at the same time. Once we hit our moisture levels that are uh, adequate and compliant, we'll start black filling this area. Uh, continue wrapping up the windows, and then we'll start drywalling this area. Classrooms, one of the first classrooms we're gonna have done. So we're actually up here on the third story of the building. We were up here a few weeks ago and, and we had the trusses that were started. The trusses are now finished. We actually have steel decking up and they're in the process of putting the, the membrane on the roof as well to make it completely watertight. As we head east, you'll see all the new steel trusses that are going up. You can probably see those from the road as well. Uh, this is really exciting progress for us. On a side note, in the school itself, we're actually working on the master schedule and trying to figure out which rooms teachers would be teaching in. So I'll periodically send pictures to people and say, hey, I'm in English department rooms or I'm in social studies rooms. And they're pretty excited about those huge windows and what that will mean for them. So a lot of them are in rooms that don't currently have any natural light. So this is a pretty exciting change for them. So this is, uh, we're, we're slightly east of that cupola, so we were under it before. Um, now we're slightly east looking back, and you can see that cold form steel truss framing a little more clearly. Uh, and then just to the right of that structure, um, you can actually see the, the plank from that fourth floor where we're gonna have HVAC equipment sitting. They're also putting those cold form trusses around that to build up the structure uh, for the roof and for the walls for that as well. We're at the edge of the third story building uh, facing east. As we face east, you can see the steel decking that's down on the two story building on the eastern portion of the two story building. Uh, they actually have some insulation and now they're putting down membrane. What that means is that this two story portion is going to be watertight soon. 
That's really critical for us. Uh, just like on the western portion, once it's watertight, what we can do underneath is significantly different than before it's watertight. We also have the masons finishing up the, the last uh, CMU walls uh, on the east side of the third story. So we're in one of the third story science labs on the, on the second floor. Um, the CMU block is already done. Obviously the masons are focusing right now on the exterior load bearing walls so they can finish all the steel and the trusses. Uh, once they're done with that, they'll come back into these interior walls. Um, these are the lab prep rooms that will span two classrooms. There will also be a fume hood that is between the prep room and the classroom so people can uh, store chemicals that can be used in the classroom and prepared in the prep room. But uh, this is really, in terms of the CMU block, that big concrete block that we're used to seeing in schools, this is really kind of where we are. Almost done with load bearing and just have some interior stuff left and then we're off of that and onto exterior brick. We're on the north side of the building right now. You can see this crew of masons who are doing the exterior brick uh, from the ground level. Just want to remind you that this process includes a, a three inch foam uh, that ends up becoming the vapor barrier and insulation and then that course of brick on the outside. So not only is this a lot prettier than what we're looking at before it, but uh, it also acts as our vapor barrier. So keeps the building warm and dry, which as you know, is critical for a lot of the interior work to happen. This wraps up our March 20th update on Pete Scully. Matt McManus with Rosilli. Go Cards. Go Cards. Go cards.